And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. We have several stories to get to, so here's what we have lined up for you right now. As communities continue to recover from Hurricane Ian, the relief effort remains in full swing. It is our duty as a, as a human being and as a citizen to help others when you can. Tonight we're meeting a group made up entirely of volunteers giving their time, effort, and energy to make a difference. Hurricane Ian devastated parts of Florida's Gulf Coast and the relief effort continues. A local nonprofit organization that we met up with has collected donations for victims and will be dropping off food, cleaning products, and necessities just in time for Thanksgiving weekend. I went out to see firsthand and the work this organization is doing to help our community. The woman in charge tells me her organization is filled with all volunteers who just want to help those who are still struggling to put their lives back together. I partnered with some of our sponsors and our business owners and put together a hurricane relief drive to help the survivors of Ian. Devin Pappas is the chair of the Raising Relief Foundation, a nonprofit organization run completely by volunteers who are collecting donations to help aid the victims of Hurricane Ian. And the need is extensive. We have bottled water and food and toiletries. Bug spray is a huge need. Bleach is a need. Um, any kind of diapers, baby food, linens, bedding. Anything that you would need and use on a daily basis is what we're collecting. Devin says when the hurricane hit, the community immediately wanted to help. So she sprang into action with the assistance of her generous neighbors. It is our duty as, as a human being and as a citizen to help others when you can. And it's not a lot. I keep saying every can helps. So you don't have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars. You go to a BOGO or you come here and you're picking up something for dinner. Pick up a can off the shelf and put it over here because every can, every can helps. This Bel Air market on Indian Rocks Road North is one of seven drop-off locations collecting donations. Linda Bullerman has contributed a few times already. Well, this is my third bag. I was inspired because I feel sorry for them. They lost everything and it could have been us. It could have been us. And the Bel Air Market's owners, Chris Scott and Julie Champion, felt that same calling to help the storm victims. And their customers have stepped up. This is like a small little town here. Everyone seems to know everyone, and they just, they want to be a part of it. They, and uh, I'm extremely grateful to be in this part of Florida uh, where uh, people genuinely care and they really want to help their neighbors. The other six drop-off locations in Pinellas County include F-45 Training Largo East, Genergy Air Services, Coastal Market 607, Pagino's Pizza and Subs, Suzette's on the Rocks Boutique, and Bel Air Coffee Company. Then once a week, all donations are picked up, sorted, and put in a storage facility to be delivered on November 19th, just in time for Thanksgiving. And Samaritan's Purse will help distribute the donations to those in need. Any little bit helps. If it's one can, five cans, whatever. And again, if you can't, if you have a dollar or two, donate it. It goes a long way. It's a community that the people just continue to give and give and give. The community is just great, and I'm just very, very fortunate myself to be a part of it. So we wanted to thank Devin and her team for their tireless efforts in giving back. Based on our ABC Action News Gives campaign, a $5,000 donation to you. And really, it's from the generous folks out there who wanted to help nonprofits like you. Oh, I'm speechless. Oh, my God. Thank you. Wow. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wow. Again, every penny of your donation will go directly to the relief effort. So if you're interested in volunteering for the Raising Relief Foundation Community Hurricane Relief Drive, head to their website at RaisingReliefFoundation.org. And they're planning to do another collection in the spring once they know what's needed at that time. And remember, our ABC Action News Gives initiative is still taking action for you to help our neighbors recover after Hurricane Ian. If you want to donate, you can scan that QR code you see on your screen right now or head to abcactionnews.com slash gives.